So um, let's imagine that I'm not Joe and this is not Bethlehem. We're just characters, okay? We're make-believe characters. Maybe we work for a company together. Um, what I'd like you to do is uh, lean forward a little bit, um, hug your knees a bit, okay. blink a lot. Uh, As if. Uh, blink a lot. <laughs> and when I look at you, never look at me. Never make eye contact with me, okay? Um, <laughs> scratch your face, scratch your head, <laughs> scratch your body. <laughs> now, which one of us in this relationship has the status? Whatever that means to you. <laughs> me? How do we know? <laughs> I heard someone say body language. Yes, how do we know from my body language that it's this character that has the status and not this one? You are open. You are open. I'm taking up more space. I'm dominating more space. Yeah? You can now. Yeah. And now, um, if you lean back a little bit, look me in the eye. Who has the status now? She does. Um, so she has the status, but who has the power? <laughs> Good point, well made. I like it. Does it look like she also has the power if she has the status? Usually it does. This is an illusion because the reality is we don't know who has the power. Maybe, maybe I've just fired her. Maybe I'm a very timid boss and I've said, listen, nobody can stand your arrogance, we have to let you go. <laughs> we simply don't know. Now, this is very important to us as human beings. Every human being is obsessed with what's just happened here, what we call social status. We're tribal animals, we live in hierarchies. A bit like the ducks do outside. In fact, I was having a look at lunch, um, which was the high status duck. Um, the high status duck was the one that went for the food first. And the low status duck, there was a junior duck. I don't know if you noticed it. It's the one with the slightly darker beak. That's the junior low status duck. Um, even the acrobats, with that incredible performance we just saw, what, what made it amazing for me was not just that it was a fantastic display of technique. It was more than technique. There was a kind of a story. And the story came from the status relationship between the characters. Both of them were trying to play high status to the other. They were having a competition for social dominance over each other. And it was that emotional context, the relationship context, that made it so exciting for us to watch the technique. Now, in every organization, uh, we have situations where sometimes you feel like the person who's sitting like this. And sometimes you feel like the person who's sitting like this. And because we're all tribal animals, all of us, all the time, are obsessed with our social status. We want to raise our status as high as possible and lower the status of other people. The reality is that we are not homo economicus. We are not creatures in pursuit of profit. We think we are. And it doesn't matter what your CEO promised the shareholders. Yeah, we'll do double digit growth, yeah. The reality is that every single person in your organization is more interested in their personal social status in any given situation than they are in profitability or efficiency or anything like that. That's your challenge as marketing people because the marketing department is the public face of the brand and everybody loads their self-image into the brand. So everybody in the organization has got an opinion on the marketing. Why? Because they've got an opinion on how they would like the rest of the world to see them. It's not about the brand and it's not about what the market needs. It's not about what your customers need. It's about the personal social status of the people in the organization. When you understand this and you can work sensitively, then you can be an extremely effective marketing person. When you don't understand this and you only look at it as logistics or as about what the market needs, then you're always going to be blocked within the organization by things that we usually call ego, which are actually status, and they are at least eight million years old, older than modern humans. We've been doing status games with each other since we were still up in the trees. Um, so thank you very much. Bear this in mind when we have a look at the panel discussion that's gonna come up now. Um, and once again, have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll see you a bit later on. And thank you, Bapchen.